it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about coordination compounds. Coordination compounds add color to life, and this is one of the reasons we study them. These two are different only by their metal ion, yet have starkly different colors, a stunning orange and vibrant purple. Why is this? One of the reasons we started with the study of acids and bases is because they are fundamental to the understanding of coordination compounds. In coordination compounds, the central metal acts as a Lewis acid and accepts electrons from Lewis base molecules to form the compound. These Lewis base molecules are called ligands. Ligands can be atoms, ions, molecules, or a combination of these types. Ligands are bonded to the metal via a special type of bond, the dative covalent or coordinate covalent bond. The dative covalent bond is different from the usual covalent or ionic bonds that we discuss frequently because in dative covalent bonds all the electrons are donated from one atom to another. This is similar to the formation of Lewis adducts. In this example the Lewis base ammonia donates its lone pair of electrons to the central nickel ion forming an octahedral complex which we can show by using an arrow pointing from the Lewis base to the Lewis acid. We can show that this is a coordination compound by placing square brackets around it and writing any charge to the top right. The previous complex that we have seen has six ammonia ligands. These are Lewis bases that have one lone pair and so can form one coordinate bond with the central metal ion. We call ligands such as these monodentate. Mono for one and dentate for bite or bond in this case. Other common monodentate ligands are water, known as aqua, carbon monoxide, known as carbonyl, and cyanide, known as cyano. Ligands do not always need to form only one bond with the central ion. If they form two, as in the case of the ene ligand, then we term this as bidentate, or two bites, as they have two dative covalent bonds with the central species. Mono and bi are not the limits of ligand connectivity, and 3, 4, and even 6 are not uncommon. These are often called chelating ligands as they have multiple bonding sites. We can call these systems polydentate. One polydentate ligand is ethylene diamine tetraacetate, or EDTA. The number of dative covalent bonds formed describes the coordination number, so in the complexes shown we have two 3, 4, and 6. If we go back to our previous example, we have 5 ligands here, but still have a coordination number of 6, as we can get 2 bonds from the bidentate ligand ene and 4 from the monodentate ligand ammonia. Chlorophyll is a key part of the photosynthesis of plants, but it is also a chelating ligand. The four nitrogen atoms coordinate to a central magnesium via dative covalent bonds. Chlorophyll then acts as a tetradentate ligand. We will often see shapes like this in coordination chemistry. But what determines this shape? Geometry is in fact determined by coordination number. Here the coordination number is 6 because there are 6 donor atoms dative covalently bonded to the central atom. This is an octahedral shape. In chemistry, there can be a lot of repetition. There are some common geometries that we will see frequently, and they are octahedral with a coordination number of 6, and two complexes with coordination numbers of 4, tetrahedral and square planar. We are already familiar with the tetrahedral shape from methane, but the square planar shape may be new to you. We can also find some interesting geometries with coordination numbers of 5, trigonal bipyramidal and square pyramidal being prime examples. Geometries are not limited to coordination numbers of 6 and below, and some fantastically interesting structures can be found with coordination numbers up to 16, including the 7 coordinate pentagonal bipyramidal. Some other unique shapes exist, such as the seesaw and others such as the distorted T. These structures arise due to the presence of lone pairs on the central atom that cause repulsion of the other bonded pairs and are placed in the equatorial plane to minimize repulsions. 
Some unusual geometries that are determined by ligand type are also possible. One of the most common geometries, the octahedral geometry, with a coordination number of 6, has angles between the bonds of 90 degrees. Another common coordination number, 4, has two common geometries, tetrahedral and square planar. It can be difficult to predict which one will form, as we cannot use VSEPR to predict these geometries and instead must rely on crystal or ligand field theory, which we will discuss later. Let's check comprehension.